Thank you, News. Powered by MidHudsonNews.com. Brought to you by Everett A. The diner in Hyde Park, located here this morning. Bill, what is going on in the news? Wow, this food is good. We got our Thanksgiving feast going on here. Oh, yeah. This is this is incredible. Big shout-out to the Everett Diner, Hyde Park. We are back live in a diner after four years of hiatus. Looking at your news headlines, trending this morning, Congressman Pat Ryan has introduced legislation to lower the price of prescription drugs for Hudson Valley families. It's called the Stopping Pharma's Ripoffs and Drug Savings for All Act. It would stop pharmaceutical companies from what he said was abusing the current U.S. patent law and make less costly generic alternatives easier to produce. For too long, Big Pharma has been allowed to game the system, rake in record profits, and rip off hardworking Hudson Valley families, he said. I'm pushing relentlessly to finally hold Big Pharma accountable and lower the cost of prescription drugs, said Congressman Pat Ryan. In other news this morning, Archtop Fiber has broken ground to install and launch new 100% fiber multi-gig internet service that will provide faster connections for Kingston residents. Archtop Fiber will produce uh, and provide internet speeds of up to 10 gigs per second. It will offer symmetrical upload and download speeds to meet the rising demand for more robust connectivity as data usage and cloud adoption increase. The company said the new broadband network will support more efficient streaming, a house full of Wi-Fi, connected devices, video conferencing, e-commerce, and more for yeah, Kingston residents. Man, this is a thank you for allowing us... Okay, there we go. So... Uh, <laughs> In other news this morning, as we look at some other headlines that are trending, Jay Johnson, you may remember him as uh, the uh, uh, Homeland Security Secretary under President Obama. He's actually from the town of Poughkeepsie. I've met Jay Johnson. Great guy. He was in town yesterday. He said that the war in the Middle East has resulted in a global conversation. He told Mid-Hudson News emotions around the world and in this country are heightened since Hamas attacked Israel. He said, my hope and my prayer is that here in this country we rededicate our lives to getting along, understanding each other. You can feel passionate about your beliefs about the Middle East without inciting hate and violence against other groups. The former Homeland Security Secretary went on to say, now Johnson and family members were in Newburgh yesterday as he received the key to the city from city of Newburgh Mayor Torrance Harvey. And looking around the internet this morning at some of the stories that are trending, have you gotten your uh, Diva, have you have you gotten your New Year's resolution uh, set yet? Yes. Yes? Uh, well, it's not even December yet, but we're already talking about why we... Wait, wait, wait. It's not even uh, Thanksgiving yet, and you're talking about resolutions? Well, we're talking about... Then you guys are yelling at me about putting the tree up yet, <laughs> hey, and here you, you are talking you resolutions. Just you, just you, don't blame me. You got a plan accordingly. <laughs> accordingly. Now, uh, it's not even December yet, but we're already talking about why we won't follow through with our New Year's resolutions, uh -huh. right? An early oh, I poll, never do. An we early do. poll on New Year's resolutions found the easiest ones are practicing better hygiene and drinking more water. Now, anything harder takes motivation. Now, here's the top five excuses that we're not going to ever even follow through with our New Year's resolution. Number one, Go on, gym. the cost, they say, of the gym. Yeah. You, you may do the first couple of months, but Dude, then you're going to realize this. Did you have another mimosa? Not yet. Dude, you sound like you, you had another one. Oh, calm down over there. He did. He did. It's over there waiting on me. I knew See, it. He did get another one. He did get another one. I Called it. He's I got that it. brute champagne in there. A whole bottle he dumped into that one drink. Brute is good. Other reasons is we don't always fail. 83% say they've had at least some success with a New Year's resolution in the past. So, now, Diva, I'm, I'm, I think your New Year's resolution is, is already set, right? Drink less alcohol. <laughs> that yeah. ain't going to stick. <laughs> <So> effective <laughs> effective <laughs> January 1st. Good luck. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Yours, uh, that's politics. News yeah, right, right. Uh, powered by our friends. <laughs> At MidHudsonNews.com and also check out Ocean State Job Lot. All your favorite brand names to close out prices, visit OceanStateJobLot.com. I got more winning coming up. Also, you know, maybe play some, uh, maybe we play some more, oh, you know, maybe we play some more trivia. Uh, I know you are the trivia king back there in the uh, studio, so I, I want you to get some more questions uh -huh. ready. Tony Plant. Uh -huh. okay. All right, Tony. All right, okay. There he is. Yep. We're gonna play a little we're gonna play a little game again. I'll work on it. Maybe we'll get maybe we'll get Costa the boss here. Oh. Maybe we'll get him on the hot seat. Okay. Tony, we're gonna send you back a to go meal. 
Well, you got thank so much you. Food here. No, I'm serious All because right. we can't awesome. leave them out. Yeah, Tony, you've been working hard. I mean, you know, it took till the end of the show for everything to work right, but it's still good. And, oh. you know, <laughs> Tony finally, Tony finally was notified about this shift at about nine o'clock last night. So, <laughs> so we, we cut, we're cutting him a break. Anyway, stay close. We got more on the way. It's K104. Good morning. Funny. They're funny. And it's funny. They keep it entertaining. They just have the really funny stuff. <laughs>